Hey guys, this is Mike from the As Yet Undecided podcast. We have a change in the way that we do the podcast for this week. Sophie was too busy this week to film the podcast, so we have to start the Lost Podcasts, just in case for these sort of situations. This is a continuation of the last podcast, where we talk about... Uh, families, um, certain situations that we're in when we were kids, and we decided to play two truths and one lie against each other. By all means, enjoy. Because we could, because we're keeping up with the Kamaras here. Yeah. Like the Kardashians. Yeah. Best families to portray on TV. Your family. My uh, family. <laughs> it can My be. Family? It can be. I mean, honestly, you have your deadbeat father, your exasperated <laughs> mother. Your, uh, your, the teenage mother. Uh, I know you're very much exaggerating <laughs> all of this. Yeah. But technically, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> your teenage mother and her two kids. Yeah. But, 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 but honestly, it, it can be like the Mormons. There was oh. there was this um there was this Mormon family show called Big Love, in yes. which you actually follow a dude and his like billion wives. Um. I mean, firstly, I firstly. Yeah. Firstly, two corrections there already know the answers to this. Right. One was three wives. Yeah. And two, um, rest in peace, Bill Paxton. Rick Rescott and Pache? He's dead? He's dead. Good. Yeah. He was also in Apollo 13. Oh, yeah. really? He was an actor? Yeah, he was an actor. Wow. The, the person he played the husband in Big Love. Oh, so I thought big. So big love is like a drama, right? Yeah, it was a drama. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. But then you have to have, um, keeping up with the Kumars, which is a which is an old one, an old British one. Kumars. Oh, keeping up with the Kumars. Kumars. Yeah. So that the keeping up with the Kardashians got their name from them. No, it was the other way around. Keeping up with the Kumars. Yeah. Okay. Got it from the Kardashians trying uh. to do a spoof um, British Indian version. <laughs> Like Citizen Khan. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and then, then you had the Maori ones. Uh, then you had the English ones with yeah. um, keeping up with the ridges, which was stupid. Like uh, Jersey Shore. Or as I like to call it, North Shore. No. <laughs> Let's go to G Field and pick up some chicks, G. <laughs> <laughs> and and then you have the. The many, many people tried to copy the Kardashians. Yeah, like, I think a family could. Co- I think a family could do it, like a like the um, like a poor family drama. Oh yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always love it when you. So let's see. We we have the characters. We have the the this is the non-existent father, the exas- the the eccentric uncle, the teenage mother. Her ne- her son who can somehow who's somehow allowed to play GTA five. And the mother trying to control it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um the tired the tired grandmother and the how would you describe your father? The the something rock grandfather, the Oh uh, we'll, 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 we'll just call him the Caitlyn Jenner of the family. Why is why is he like <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner? Yeah. Why is he Caitlyn Jenner? Always wants to change his mind. Oh yeah. Yeah. Does he have a clean mind then? No, but he never brings it out. Uh, I see. Yeah, Af- afraid of backlash. Oh really? Yeah, that's right. Um, your fa- your family wouldn't be a very good family to portray on TV. No, we're boring. We're um, very stable. We're very happy. We're too happy. We don't get lots of drama. Yeah, but yeah, the, your your family dynamics fascinate me. Why is that? You have your stepdad and your mother. Yeah. In two different houses. Yeah. And they, as we live in one house for like three times a week. Yeah. 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 Would you consider that as a little bit strange? It's definitely unusual, yeah. Yeah. And do you guys clash three times a week? No. <laughs> that's why we do only, that's why we only come together three times a week, because mum's intense. We can't, none of us can stand her for more than a week, you know? Yay! Yeah. I mean, she's just one of those people that, yeah, well, 
I don't I don't think she knows just how intense she is. I mean, she means the best, but she's a bit like me, except I'm a little bit more chill, which makes it more bearable. You're more chill? You have no idea how intense <laughs> <laughs> That's why you haven't met my mother. My yeah. mother will absolutely... My mother's not for the faint-hearted. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and since we're talking about childhoods here... Yeah? Do you have any um, favourite childhood moments? <laughs> Um, uh, I, I, I'm going to limit this to a top three only. No, I, no, I can only really think of. T- um, well, my, I had I had a pretty crappy childhood. Okay. Uh, yeah, but it, it, it can be up to the age of fourteen. Okay, good. Now my okay um my okay this this a heads up. My biological father was emotionally abusive. Yay! But I managed to make my own fun. Uh, so let's see. The, one of the earliest ones is uh, when I survived a car crash with my biological father driving. He was making an illegal U-turn over at uh, Green Lane West, just off the motorway, the motorway roundabout. Yeah. And when he was doing that, a car was coming in at full speed at about 80 kilometers an hour. Now, I'm sorry to say, because of me being a... Um a mediator yeah in this conversation how was that one of your favourite moments what happened afterwards was really funny <laughs> this, this is showing what, what type of child I was so um he so then the car crashed uh, to, uh, at the end it's the back seat it was the it, it, it was it crashed into the right side I was sitting in the middle so I survived yeah. because if I was sitting on the right I'd be dead but anyway I survived the whole incident I then I got out of the car, walked back home, and the first things I said to mum, and then when mum saw me, I was absolutely covered in blood, right? Yeah. A few cuts on me. And then she was like, Sophie, what happened? Why aren't you at violin class? And, I, and then the first things I said was, dad survived. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I said, dad survived. That's all. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's like, so, yeah, that's probably one of the most era defining moments about me it's like you don't that's all you need to know about much that's all you need to know about me basically okay yeah i guess that said a lot about childhood me and then of course mum was absolutely furious when she saw the car <laughs> <laughs> and but, uh, but, but dad survived yeah okay. that's that's the only thing i said <laughs> and, um, and 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 then it's um it's really funny now because it's just it was so blunt, so dry, and so out of context. Yeah. <laughs> um, num- and number two was, um, when I was nine years old, I was starting to learn about um, atmospheric pressures and about how um, atmospheres higher up is thinner than atmospheres lower down. Yes. Back then, I was still uh, naively thinking that heaven was, st- was, the cl- was still the clouds. Yes. <laughs> and that made me cross over streams and think, well, that means that. Then I said this to my to my stepfather, whom I called uncle at the time. Hey, uncle, I just realised something. You must you must be going to lower level heaven. And he's like, why? And I said, because they're heavier than me, and clouds lower down are thicker. Therefore, they get to support heavier weights. <laughs> and Dad was like, okay. But that became one of his favourite stories as well. Yeah. Yeah. Also, another era defining moment of me because that's um that's. Because it just says a lot about well, how I was when I was nine years old. The fact that the fact that I thought fact that people went down to lower level heaven because they had more support. Um, the, the, this podcast is sponsored by lower level heaven. Lower level heaven. Yeah. Fat people only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to edit this out, Mike. That means because I laughed. Yeah, but, but, but it's okay. It is the only heaven that will accept me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Mike, you'll be going to lower level heaven. Yeah. Welcome to the family, by the way. Yay. Yay. Um, okay. And um, thirdly, uh, when I was 10 years old, uh, for a special treat, because it was the first birthday, proper birthday party I ever had, I got I got, I got an, a, a mobile animal zoo come, coming to the place. It was awesome. I had a horse. I had a pony ride. I had lots of animals. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, because back then I was a really withdrawn child, and the only thing that let you bring me out was animals and pets, just cats, dogs, blah blah. blah. Yeah, loved them. Um, for me, yeah, 
2000 was a pretty intense year for me. What? How old were you? 14. Oh, yeah? Um, the story goes that as a 14-year-old, I, I, I had already been drunk a few times at this point. Bloody hell, what a childhood have you had? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, I just need to get some, grab some water. Yeah. And th- the story goes is that um, we were going to get drunk down at the local beach. Mm-hmm. We were going to make a bonfire and go down to the beach. Maybe you throw a few Mark South cocktails. Fourteen-year-olds and we're, we're not in Mo- Moscow, okay? <laughs> no, I assume they had access to vodka <laughs> and some cloth. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but we wanted to drink the alcohol, not set it alight. <laughs> um and people thought uh, people thought that we were actually going to um, cr- create arson. Yeah. Uh, so we stopped that relatively quickly. We, we um, got to relative darkness and we just put water over it. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, not advanced darkness. Yeah. Um, relative darkness, not, not advanced darkness. Yeah. Um, and then I was the only one who bought a bike. Yeah. Because um, I was a thinking man. And because it was a 4K trip. Yeah. From where we lived to the beach. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll see you guys at the house. This dog comes out of nowhere, this German shepherd, yeah. and bites me. Because he thinks you're a fat, fat, juicy steak. I know, right? Yeah. Ribeye, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you still be the scars? Hear me out. Yeah. M- let me tell the story first. Sorry. Okay. Um, I, t- I-, I told the person's mother that I was staying that what had happened, and I'm going home. Um, went th- they went home and said to them that, um, can you guys take me to the hospital? I might be getting rabies. <laughs> so, um, we went over to the animal control's house. Yeah. And they told me to bend over. Yeah. So they can take photos of the bite marks. Because I was bitten on the ass. <laughs> it was my left butt cheek. <laughs> I don't want to see it. No, 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 the photos are... I hope that they're burned. Um, and actually, the dad was actually quite hilarious about it. Yeah. It's like, you can... Uh, the gash, the bite mark, was that big. You can actually see the muscle yeah. going up and down. Yeah. That was buzzy for him. Um, and then went to the hospital, did the shots, come back. Um, what, when they were um, ending the dog's life... Yeah. All of my mates were walking past, <laughs> not knowing what was going on. Uh, yeah. So, and uh, when the mother came down to tell them what had happened, people were hooking up with everybody <laughs> and stuff like that. And then we came on school on Monday with the, with the bandage and everyone was going like, what? where the hell were you? What happened? Because I never told them because this was 2000 where no one had a cell phone. Yeah? Yeah. So that was that was story number one. Yeah. Story number two happened a few months later. Oh yeah. Um, I remember it was November first. Yeah. You know why it was November first? We'll get to that in a minute. Um, it was first period was gym on a Thursday, and since the um, teacher was a bit bored, I was like, "Oh, just play basketball. Easy, right?" Yeah. Um, and I only had one pair of shoes, which were black, and because they didn't want the gym floor to be scuffed off, everyone that had black shoes had to wear and bare, go and bare feet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> and then what happened is that we were jumping for the ball, someone jumped on my foot and pivoted and broke my toe. Ouch. And in just for reference, it is second toe on my left foot. What happened to your left side of the body? I know, right? So um, it was te- it's te- it was technically not broken. Yeah. It was um, not broken by a fragment. Yeah. Because um, it went from zero degrees to ninety degrees. <laughs> Just the top bit. The, oh, okay. the, the top knuckle bit went yeah. from that to that. Ouch. And the worst part was, it didn't hurt. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, blood was gushing everywhere. I didn't notice it happened. And I'm like, looked down at my foot. I'm like, oh, it's broken. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go to the nurse's office. Something happened. Uh, apparently, he got, he got in the shit for it. Um, because he, he got in trouble because they were supposed to let me sit down. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I was in the ambulance, went to hospital. The Halloween decorations at the child's ward were still up. And the part that I, that cracks up the most about this, you know, all of the showers and the plastic bag, yeah. sitting down having a shower, that's, that's funny in itself. Um, but the funny part was, is that the people that had gym after me <laughs> had to clean it up. <laughs> Guess who was in that class? <laughs> My sister. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, bro, what happens? No, she's like, man, we had to clean this bloody blood off the floor. The people there who are doing a first period, what the hell do they do? Um, Laura, it was your brother. Oh, what? (laughs) So, like, I was 14. She was almost 12. (laughs) Oh, God. Yeah. And the third story... Uh, is double breaking things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this does it, This almost involves breaking of something. Um, I got invited a free ticket to the New Zealand Golf Open in 2000. Oh, yeah? Um, and for reference, this was the one with Tiger Woods in it. Oh. Did he come to New Zealand? Yeah. Oh. He got... Um, his fee was $4 million. Oh, one for every New Zealander. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, and he came down. He didn't even get the. He, he didn't even pass halfway. Um, because we went down there the first day. Because we our day started at five a.m. Yeah. Because I had I was doing the paper run at the time. The one time that I actually did it in, in the car mm-hmm. instead of biking. Mm-hmm. Um, so we got got down to Paraparamu, which is. Uh, Half an hour north of Wellington. Yeah. We got there, did the parking, went into the course, and we saw Tiger straight off the bat. Nice. Dad was taking photos, saying like, um, where's your press pass? Uh, I don't have one. Oh, put your camera away. Because there's only press allowed to take photos. So you met Tiger Woods? Hear me out. Hear yeah. Me out. Hear me out. There's more to the story. Yeah, come on. Like, like well, we, we, we were walking around seeing golfers being absolute dicks about I was like can you guys go out of the way I might hit you I'm like you're not gonna hit me you're you're a professional and you're telling me to get out of the way mm-hmm. um and then what happens what one hole we, we were walking across this fairway and the, I see this ball almost hit me I'm like huh oh dad and there's a ball here oh stand stand by it and see what happens stand by everyone comes coming across um, and it was Tiger Woods. <laughs> so then. So basically, I was standing behind him, basically as far away as we are now. Yeah. He hit his ball and went on his way. Why did he get an autograph? No, no, because he was standing right there. I didn't want to interrupt it playing his golf. That's awesome. Mm. I've never hit. I've never heard that sound from a golf club ever again. What? The way that he contacted the ball I've never heard that sound ever again that's fantastic mm. it's beautiful it felt like a mini earthquake yeah yeah rather powerful right yeah so yeah those are my three stories wow oh by the way um, we actually haven't answered this question what sort of families actually make the best reality TV um drama field drama field we'll go with drama field how about how, how funny um, or unusual? Yeah, unusual. That's why the Osborns were so great. Yeah. Um, and there has to be a lot of money. Yeah, so... Okay. L- like, that's why the housewives are such a thing. Basically, just to... Um, even though they're making a lot of money. Yeah. And to say, Oh, they, they're like me too. Lots of product placements, right? Oh, you're telling me. Hmm. I don't have to get to the whole housewives thing. Oh, the... The, they yeah. scare me a little. Why? They're like Stepford. They're like Stepford wives in a way. Mm. 
No one lives like that. Yeah. But they claim to be. That's right. Now, I'm not sure if we want to play this game or not. Should we play this game? Shall we? Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, we're playing a game called Two Truths and a Lie. Yeah. We're going to have two rounds. And we are going to state two facts about ourselves and yeah. one lie and the other person has to guess. Okay. Would you like me to go first? You go first. Okay. Um, and we pretty much know each other enough. Mm. So we're probably going to guess correctly. Okay, go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, when I got my hole in one... Mm. The club in which I got it didn't actually give me the money for the whole one. Why is that? No, no. That's the first fact. Mm-hmm. That's the first fact. Um, second fact is that all all of my family's birthdays are, f- are between the 21st and the 25th of a given month. And number three, I have gone albatross before. Which is a two on a par five. I don't think your family's that close. All your family. That close on the birthday. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, can we have a shot, please? Um, Sophie got that wrong. Wow! <laughs> just, just, just to reference... Um, you just had all your family's birthday recently. No, 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 no. What I mean is that in a given month... Oh, so all your... Bir- oh, oh, I guess it now. Yeah. So, like, Dad's on 21st, me and the nephew are on the 22nd, look, my sister and the niece are on the 23rd, uh, Mum's on the 24th, and the partner's on the 25th. Okay, I thought it meant um, 20 f- 21st, 29th of, of, a, of March. Yeah. I thought you meant that. So I thought, no. Yeah. So what didn't you get? So... Let's see, I bet you, I bet your hole in one did get you the money. No, 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 the, the, the club didn't give me the money because it wasn't a club event, it was a tournament, so they didn't give me the money. Oh, that's yeah. sad. Yeah, it was during a, comp- it was a, during a match play event. I see. So match plays don't match play hole in ones don't count. Did you win anything at least? Um, the club gave the my home club. Yeah. Gave me the money. Cool. And that was a good drunken night. That <laughs> was a good drunken night. And uh, so you never had an albatross. Yeah, I've been a meter away from getting it. Oh, so bad. That's yeah. so sad. Yeah, four hundred. Oh, it was a yeah four hundred and twenty two meters in two shots. Oh wow. <laughs> Okay, it's, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult for me because I can't really tell lies. Um, oh, really? Okay. Uh, oh, let's say... My first phone was a Motorola. Um, I... I was born in, at night, and I have shoplifted before. Ooh! Wait, 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 wait. That is, that is more difficult than I thought. That is much more difficult than I thought. I remember you telling me that you have shoplifted before. By yeah. complete accident. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so, and, and no doubt, and no doubt, your number one, saying that your first phone was a Motorola, was more than likely yeah. to be the pink Motorola Razor. So, based on that, I'm going to say number two is the lie. Number two is the lie, yeah. Yay! Yay! I was born in the morning, not nine o'clock in the morning. And um, about me shoplifting, come on, it was a complete, <laughs> it was a complete accident, okay? <laughs> I'm, okay, here, here's the story. My mum and dad was buying pens over at warehouse stationery, and um, I decided to pick up a pack thinking that my parents would like it. They, they, didn't like, they didn't like it. I forgot to put it down. So I was just absolutely just holding onto the pens and following my parents around, 
and following out into the car park, and it was only like five minutes into driving that I realized I was still holding the pins. <laughs> retail retail value at the time, $3.50. Yeah. <laughs> now, was I right in saying that your first phone was a motor or a razor? Um, I don't, th- I can't remember. It was a pink Motorola flip. But yeah, it's, it's the razor. But it doesn't have, but it doesn't have the screen. It doesn't hey? have the screen. It doesn't have the screen? Uh, no. A flip phone didn't have a screen. A flip phone doesn't have a screen at the front, I mean. Okay. At the front. I think the Razer had the screen at the front. It was actually very thick like this. Yeah. Mine was very thin like this. Okay. Yeah. Huh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, I have to seriously think about this. Um, okay. Should we switch it up or? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Um... Okay. It's um the Motorola razor was pretty damn thick, and uh, not not in width, but um it was actually it looks it looks like a it was almost a square. Yeah. Whereas my one was definitely more towards the rectangular. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. I was born in the morning. Yeah. Early morning. Oh yeah. Like just past twelve. Early morning. Um. I am allergic to cat fur. Yeah. And we, <laughs> I was the person who was blamed for the boils run in my family. And boils are great fun. They're basically um, big massive zits with a <laughs> core in the middle yeah. that you have to remove. Yeah. What did the core look like? It was basically this big solid, solid mess. Yeah. Yellow mass. Wow. So you'd basically squeeze out all the pus again. Yeah. And then you had to get the tweezers to pull out the core. Wow. Yeah. And you, and uh, according to you, you might have been blamed for it. I was patient zero. <laughs> I bet you are not allergic to cat fur. Is it your final answer? Yes. I am allergic, allergic to, cat to cat fur. fur. <laughs> but I bet they will ba- blame you for boils run. <laughs> No, it wasn't me. Oh, but they did blame me. They did blame me. They, they did blame me, I but, it, they, I but it wasn't me. I, d- I bet they did blame you, so therefore the other one was a lie. Uh, the, what was no, the no, one? no, but but I wasn't patient zero. Who was patient zero? Sister was. Yeah, but they did blame you, though. Yeah, but they did blame me, but the correct... The correct one was, yeah. So that yeah. means that it was the truth, that you were blamed for the boils. Yeah. What was the third What was the third one? I was born in the early morning. You, you were, when were you born? 17 to 1. In wow, the seventeen to that's not that's not that early, is it? Seventeen to one. Oh no no, wait a minute. What's the lie then? The the the, the, the lie that I wasn't patient zero. Oh, I see. You were, but you said you were bla- But you said that you were blamed for being patient zero. Yeah yeah yeah. But yeah, but I wasn't the 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 person responsible. Oh, I see. I thought you said. I thought you said that as one of your statements. You were blamed for being oh, patient okay. zero. Yeah, you said that. So you basically told three truths. <laughs> that was difficult. Yes. Your turn. Ah, uh, great. I have attempted to make a paper craft turret five times. Um, I've just bought glue for my paper crafting, and I'm obsessed, and I have a, what's it? No, 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 One time, no, no, one time, uh, with the pub quizzing, one time with the pub quiz, actually asked for the breeds of all, breeds of dogs on screen, I managed to get 9 out of 10. Wait, the last one's the lie. No, it isn't. Ah! Oh! Um, you weren't there. Um, you were late at the time, so I was the only one there. And oh. it, was a, it was the first match. It was it was a fir- it was the first um, match. I was the only person there, and I managed to get nine out of ten for the for the dog breeds. <laughs> the only one I got wrong was a Komodo, which was a Turkish sheep dog. Oh. It looks like a. I thought I initially thought it was an English sheep dog, except it didn't have the grey bits. It didn't have oh. the grey underbelly. But what was the lie? I haven't attempted to make the papercraft turret five times. How many times have you tried it? Twice. 
Okay. I might try it a third time over the Easter break, but oh god, it's difficult. <laughs> okay. You've seen my pathetic attempts, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> By the way, if you want to know, my spirit animal is the Space Core. <laughs> <laughs> I also have to. I also have to say, I finished. I just finished Assassin's Creed Three, and it's like Nolan North is really, really freaking me out now because I, I keep on thinking. Because honestly, I can't take Desmond Miles seriously anymore after I played Portal Two. <laughs> <laughs> so this, so the guy who's all being serious in um, Port, in um, Assassin's Creed Three also said space over <laughs> Portal. So it's like, okay. wait. I can't take you seriously anymore. So, no. Thank you for watching the As Yet Undecided podcast with me, Mike. You can contact us individually. You can contact Sophie on Sophie9709 on all platforms except for Instagram because she always tells us about that Russian Sophie every time. And you can contact me on The Manus, that's T H E M A R N U S, on most, well, actually all platforms. Have a good week, guys, and um, stay safe over the Easter break. Um, hopefully, things will resume back to normal next week. Or if not, uh, there's um, plenty of more Lost Podcasts to go around. Have a good week.